Hey guys, it's Thursday about lunchtime. We got off the air with Scotty Campbell this morning. 92.9 WFHG Super Talk. Magnanimous host Scotty Campbell. Thank you for letting us come on and do the movie review. I want to let you know a couple things before we get into the review. Robert Pattinson, if you're a Twilight fan, you may be turning yourself over to a Batman fan because he's just been cast as the new Batman. The movie doesn't come out until May of 2021, and although he's been cast, the only other thing we know about the new Batman movie so far is the villains. That is going to be Penguin and Catwoman. Who they are, not sure yet, but it sounds to me like a remake of the 1992 Batman Returns. We'll have to wait and see how good the Twilight Star can do. We are mourning the passing of Tim Conway. He did pass last week. Most uh, most folks will know him from the Carol Burnett show, where he just ad-libbed and went off script and did his own thing and made everybody just laugh themselves silly. Uh, Tim did get a Golden Globe in 76, and he got Emmys in 73, 77, and 78. Tim Conway, well, well known for not sticking with what he was supposed to say or do. As a matter of fact, you know, when you're surrounded by a cast of other comedians, you figure it'd take quite a bit to make one of them laugh. Well, he was known for, he made one guy laugh so hard when he went off script, he made one of the other comedians pee their pants. And I thought, you know what, now that's talent right there, but the man was hilarious. So what's going on at the box office this weekend? The Avengers has been knocked out of the number one spot. Yeah, and it was knocked out by Keanu Reeves and John Wick. So, I do believe that we're going to find out that Keanu Reeves has a pretty short wick candle, if that's the case, because he's going to get knocked out real quick by the new movie coming out this weekend, Aladdin. Aladdin is coming out with Will Smith and other stars. It is a... Um, real, not not animated or not, uh, there's probably a lot of CGI in it, but it's not a cartoon, so you're going to really want to be looking for that. Uh, there's a couple other movies coming out this weekend, Brightburn, not too sure how family friendly that is, but what do you get when you combine Denzel Washington as a master forensic evidence puzzle solver, Angelina Jolie as an uh, instinctive clue finder expert, corrupt police, street smart caregiving nurse, Queen Latifah, a serial killer who is obsessed with crime novels. Add all that up together and you get the 1997 hit, The Bone Collector. Now, I will say, uh, last week on Movies with Bruce Facebook page and on my page, Bruce Fisher, I popped up six different movies and I said, hey, what would you like to see? What would you like for me to review? Pick one of these movies. Now, two of the movies kind of ran to the top real quick on everybody's choices. This movie, The Bone Collector, and a really cool romantic comedy that, that we'll probably review at a later date. No, I want to save the name of that. But the reason I mention that is because we haven't reviewed a movie like this before on Movies with Bruce. And I got to tell you, The Bone Collector, although it is a great movie, it is probably not family friendly. There is some gruesome scenes in this movie, but they drive the point home. And this is a thrill ride from start to finish. Denzel Washington plays Lincoln Rhymes who's written dozens of books on forensic evidence, tutorial books where they use at the academy, actually. Seminars, he's done hundreds of seminars. Court testimony, putting away the bad guys. And after a horrible, horrible accident, Washington's character, Lincoln, is bedridden. Pretty much, you know, can't do anything. I think he can move his little finger in his head. That's about it. And he's, unfortunately, one seizure away from being a vegetable. Inner rookie cop Angelina Jolie. She plays Amelia, who has the same natural instinct and talent as Denzel Washington did when he first got started. He recognizes this and enlists Jolie in the hunt for the twisted serial killer with a haunting connection to Denzel Washington's character's past. Now, as the bodies start to pile up, the local authorities are becoming less and less enchanted with Lincoln Rhymes' um, magic, if you will, and time is running out for the next victim. Can Joe Lee be Washington's eyes, ears, and body? 
As the pages of this 1997 awesome movie unfolds, the Bone Collector, can they figure it out or is the Bone Collector three steps ahead? Denzel Washington, Angelina Jolie, Ed O'Neill, Queen Latifah, the Bone Collector. Check that one out. That'd be a good movie for the weekend. Remember, it's not family friendly, but it is a great movie. Now, why would it be cool to mention that one? Well, if you remember last time we were in studio, we talked about have you seen a TV show that you would like to go over and be a movie? Well, this happens to be a novel that made it to a movie. And now, if you check out NBC, they're coming out with what they say is going to be the series called Lincoln. And I'll give you a link to that down below here. And it is going to be supposedly going to be on NBC soon. So I thought that was interesting to tie in. Now, last but not least, I'll jump off here real quick. Where is Movies with Bruce going to be this weekend? Well, we're going to go to the Kingsport Public Library. And we're going to see a movie, a movie for free. I can't tell you what the name of the movie is. But I can pop up the website, Facebook page, and you can go over there and look. They cannot advertise the name of the movie since it's free, but they can advertise that they're showing it. We'll be at the Kingsport Public Library at 2 o'clock. We're going to go see that movie, have some fun with those folks that work out there and show those movies. So come out and see movies with Bruce and high-five the movie guy, right? So there's some stuff that's going on this weekend. That's some stuff that's going on at the local theaters. Um, for Sunday, I'll put a link up to this as well. Tri-City 7 is having a painting party to celebrate the Aladdin. You can come out and do some painting, and she teaches you what to do. It's great. I think everything's included. The ticket, popcorn, drink, the painting, all of it's included. So this is a great thing to do as well. Peace out, guys. Thank you all. Give me five minutes, and I'll give you a great movie.